So if you remember back when I asked the model to summarize and explain what temperature and top P were, you, you probably noticed that they were hyperparameters that we can change to be able to change the amount of variation in our model's responses. And, you know, they are. These are parameters that we can pass. These are parameters and arguments we can pass into our calls to the APIs, and it will change the amount of variation in our model's responses. And they typically vary, they vary between zero and one. And so if you had a temperature of zero, that means that your model is going to be producing, you know, pretty much similar outputs, same outputs. It's not going to change too much unless the prompt changes. Top P is the same way. If you have a top P of zero, it's, it's going to be even stricter. And if temperature is one and top P is one, then that means you're going to get a lot of variation. You may get a different difference for different response every single time. It won't even depend upon the prompt. Very briefly, how are these two things, how do they actually change the model's variation and why? So these models, what they do, and you've probably heard this beforehand, is that they, they output, they, they select the next best token in a sequence. And so given a sentence like temperature transforms the output probabilities, and then it's asked to fill in the blank, it's going to output a probability distribution over all possible next tokens, really. Or, you know, you can think of it as words. It's a lot easier to think of it that way. And then it's going to do some sampling from that probability distribution. And if it picks of, which in this, uh, in this scenario it would, and then it would, it would add of to this sentence. And then it would take in this sequence of words and then take a and then calculate a probability distribution over the next set of words, sample from it, and then that would be the next word here. Where it's really token, remember that, but words is a good way to think of it. That is kind of how it works. So it, it outputs, for a given sequence of words, it's gonna output a probability distribution over the next most likely token. And then, if we want to change the temperature, the temperature is a way for us to change that probability distribution. And so you can think of it as temperature gets closer and closer and closer to one, our probability distribution may have the um, most of the probability around the word of here, right? But it's going to start to flatten of a little bit, and it's going to make it much more likely to choose the other words that may have some probability of being chosen. And as a temperature approaches one, of those words that actually have a positive probability that are likely that could fill in the blanks here, they're all going to be flat. It's going to be a complete uniform distribution, and the model is going to be equally likely to choose those. And now when we go to changing top P, the top P is going to sort all of those. You have all these words and you have the, they have all these probabilities. It's going to sort them in descending order of probability with the one that's at the front having the, the highest probability. And then it's going to start choosing each word. It's going to start choosing words until eventually the sum of the probabilities, of those words, are actually higher than the, the P parameter that we choose. So if P is 0 0.5, it's going to choose those words, the top words, until eventually it gets to a word that when it, its cumulative sum with all the ones before it is greater than 0.5, it stops. And then it just chooses those words and then it samples from them. And so that's a high level overview of how temperature and top P work. Please feel free to look at it on the internet. I didn't want to go too far in depth here, but I definitely want to show you now how you can change these in OpenAI's uh, API calls and how that will actually change the output. Here we are, I've created a new chat message, a chat function, sorry, that takes in temperature and top P. And this is where you can change them right here. Everything else is the same. And then I'm just gonna generate titles. And as you'll see, the titles tend to vary. You may get some that are the same, you may not, and they may be similar in some way, but they tend to vary a little bit, right? You see how they're changing. Those two are the same, but and those two are the same, but there's some variation here. Now on the contrary, if you choose temperature equal to zero and top P equal to zero, you should get no variation, theoretically, right? And you don't. It just, it keeps on outputting the same title and, and nothing changes. And so that is an example of how you can use temperature and top P to change the variation in your, in your um, responses. And I, I encourage you, like always, to play with this, to give it different task to do and choose temperature and top P to be different themselves and then check the variation and output and uh, it's it's definitely something that's useful in a chat situation where you may want your chat bot to be a little bit more creative or a little bit less creative if you're playing it a little bit safer.